The net toll from the new coronavirus has jumped to 636, with over 31,000 people infected in China. The country's National Health Commission says 73 people have died from the disease in the past 24 hours. More in this report. With no signs of the new coronavirus outbreak abating, the disease is claiming dozens of lives each day. China's President Xi Jinping says Beijing is doing everything it can to contain the virus. Beijing has pumped in billions of dollars into its economy to cushion it from disruption caused by the disease. The People's Bank of China says the outbreak could disturb economic activity, but it will soon return to normal. We think that the epidemic situation may cause disturbance to China's economic activity in the first quarter, but after the epidemic is brought under control, the economy will return quickly to potential output. The World Health Organization is planning a research and innovation forum in Geneva on February 11th to study the virus. In Japan, another 41 people quarantined on a cruise liner have tested positive for the coronavirus, bringing the total cases to 61. The remaining result of 171 people were found out and 41 people tested positive for the new coronavirus. We are now preparing to transport these two medical facilities in Tokyo and other prefectures. In the meantime, the Chinese doctor who first warned of the coronavirus has died from the disease. Li Wenyang was one of a group of whistleblowers who passed on information to his friends about the outbreak in December last year.